Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were no ordinary spacecraft. They were meticulously designed with robust structures and a rotation rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This design minimized visible blurring, allowing the spacecraft to capture images and data simultaneously while traveling through space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their exceptional imaging capabilities began to impress scientists and the public alike. The spacecraft started transmitting images of Jupiter several months before completing its mission. These early images, showcasing swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot, captivated audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly stole the spotlight. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected continuous signals from Io, which were confirmed by the colorful images it captured revealing towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic material ejections. One of Io's most prominent volcanoes, Pele, erupted with a force 30 times greater than Mount Everest, covering an area nearly the size of France. As the spacecraft's cameras eventually powered down to conserve energy and memory before their journey into the interstellar region, it's worth noting that the images they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. In addition to Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA has also operated other remarkable spacecraft such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 surpassed Pioneer 10, marking the moment when Pioneer 10 became the most distant spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its solitary voyage for another 14 years before entering the interstellar medium on August 25, 2012. Although no other exceptional space probes were in sight to follow, NASA did not publicly announce this significant achievement until 2013. The tension arises due to gravitational lensing surveys suggesting a lower value of S8 than anticipated by the standard cosmological model based on cosmic microwave background, CMB, data. Efforts to resolve the S8 tension have led scientists to explore various hypotheses ranging from potential systematic errors in the data to fundamental changes in our understanding of gravity. Contemporary simulations, including the Flamingo Project, have played a crucial role in providing insights into the complex interplay between dark matter and gravitational forces in shaping the cosmic web. Despite the challenges posed by the S8 tension, many measurements taken at low redshifts and from the CMB remain consistent with the standard cosmological model. This has led to the exciting possibility that the universe may have experienced a significant evolution in its development, challenging our current understanding of cosmic structure and evolution. In summary, the S8 tension represents a major challenge to our interpretation of cosmological structure and may necessitate updates to current theoretical frameworks. Voyager 1 continues its remarkable journey through space, faithfully sending back valuable records from the far reaches of the cosmos. For almost five decades, this extraordinary spacecraft has reshaped our understanding of outer space. Yet recently, Voyager 1 has begun transmitting alarming data to Earth, leaving the entire space agency in shock. Are these disturbing statistics the result of a technical malfunction, or could they be signals from extraterrestrial sources? Join us as we uncover the truth behind these astonishing transmissions. Since time immemorial, Scientists have been fascinated by the mysteries that lie beyond our celestial borders. This fascination led to the groundbreaking launch of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, among other notable space missions. These pioneering missions, celebrated for their achievements, began with the launch of Voyager 2. From NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. A few weeks later, on September 5th of the same year, Voyager 1 was launched. These twin probes, each weighing about 7,120 kilograms, equivalent to a small car, were sent into space during a specific alignment of the outer planets, setting them on their extraordinary journey. The explorers navigated various trajectories and speeds, culminating in a crucial moment on December 15, 1977, when Voyager 1 overtook its twin. Since then, Voyager 1 has become an invaluable tool providing extensive knowledge and unraveling space-related mysteries. Before delving into Voyager's latest frightening discovery, 
which has significantly shocked the entire space agency. Let's explore the exceptional images captured by the spacecraft during its groundbreaking Jovian imaging mission. In 1978, Voyager 1 was positioned about 265 million kilometers from Earth. From this vantage point, it transmitted a diverse array of images back to Earth. In January 1979, the spacecraft embarked on an impressive 100-hour mission, capturing time-lapse movies showcasing 10 rotations of Jupiter. A treasure trove of 3,750 snapshots allowed us to observe Jupiter's majestic movements in vivid detail. In the following months, Voyager 1 ventured through the Jovian moon system and made a remarkable discovery. A small ring around Jupiter and new moons, Thebe and Métis. This expanded our understanding of Jupiter's captivating domain. To ensure a safe journey and prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, corrective maneuvers were performed. Voyager 1 continued its celestial voyage around Saturn, revealing four more moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea. With the completion of the Saturn mission, scientists decided to conclude the Voyager planetary mission, propelling both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 beyond the bounds of our Sun, speeding through space at an exceptional rate of 325 million miles per year. In January 1990, a new chapter began, the Voyager Interstellar Mission. During this phase, Voyager 1 captured some of the most iconic images in history, immortalizing the solar system and most of the planets. One person who played a crucial role in extending the missions beyond their initial goals was the distinguished astronomer Carl Sagan. As a member of the Voyager imaging team, Sagan ardently advocated for one final set of images as a farewell gift to humanity. Against all odds, his unwavering dedication succeeded. On February 14, 1990, Voyager 1, positioned 6 billion kilometers from Earth, embarked on a photographic journey capturing what became known as the pale blue dot image. These breathtaking snapshots, totaling 60 in number, were added to the spacecraft's impressive collection of 670 images. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 achieved a remarkable feat by recording wind speeds exceeding 1,000 meters per second, the fastest winds ever documented within our solar system. As the spacecraft ventured 298 kilometers into Neptune's azure, methane-rich atmosphere. It provided valuable insights into this distant celestial body. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was revealed as one of the coldest places in our solar system, with surface temperatures plunging to extremely low levels. Triton also displayed fascinating features, including nitrogen gas spewing ice volcanoes that ejected icy debris five miles into its tenuous atmosphere. These outstanding discoveries expanded our knowledge of the diverse and intricate celestial objects residing in the farthest reaches of our solar system. Don't go away, Voyager 1 has recently made one of its most startling discoveries. But first, let's review its achievements over the past 45 years. The accomplishments of the Voyager twin probes have been nothing short of extraordinary. Their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons left researchers in awe and challenged previous assumptions about these distant worlds. Moons once thought to be inactive and barren, similar to our moon, were found to be teeming with geological activity. Voyager 2, in particular, achieved several remarkable milestones during its journey. It made history in 1986 as the first spacecraft to fly by Uranus and, just three years later, accomplished another groundbreaking feat with a flyby of Neptune. To this day, it remains the only spacecraft to have undertaken such missions. As the Voyager spacecraft continued their journey, NASA implemented various measures to extend their operational lifespan. Over the past three years, non-essential components and heaters have been deactivated to conserve power, ensuring that these intrepid explorers can continue their mission well into the next decade with an expected project end date set for 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been involved from the beginning, the Voyager missions represent both a moment of pride and a touch of nostalgia. Their unwavering determination and tireless efforts have exceeded initial expectations. The wealth of data provided by the Voyagers has offered valuable insights, fueled numerous scientific discoveries, and inspired countless researchers and space enthusiasts. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were not ordinary spacecraft. 
they were meticulously designed with robust structures and a rotation rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This design minimized visible blurring, allowing the spacecraft to capture images and data simultaneously while traveling through space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their exceptional imaging capabilities began to impress scientists and the public alike. The spacecraft started transmitting images of Jupiter several months before completing its mission. These early images, showcasing swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot, captivated audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly stole the spotlight. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected continuous signals from Io, which were confirmed by the colorful images it captured, revealing towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic material ejections. One of Io's most prominent volcanoes, Pele, erupted with a force 30 times greater than Mount Everest, covering an area nearly the size of France. As the spacecraft's cameras eventually powered down to conserve energy and memory before their journey into the interstellar region, it's worth noting that the images they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. In addition to Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA has also operated other remarkable spacecraft such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 surpassed Pioneer 10, marking the moment when Pioneer 10 became the most distant spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its solitary voyage for another 14 years before entering the interstellar medium on August 25, 2012. Although no other exceptional space probes were in sight to follow, NASA did not publicly announce this significant achievement until 2013. The tension arises due to gravitational lensing surveys suggesting a lower value of S8 than anticipated by the standard cosmological model based on cosmic microwave background, CMB, data. Efforts to resolve the S8 tension have led scientists to explore various hypotheses, ranging from potential systematic errors in the data to fundamental changes in our understanding of gravity. Contemporary simulations, including the Flamingo Project, have played a crucial role in providing insights into the complex interplay between dark matter and gravitational forces in shaping the cosmic web. Despite the challenges posed by the S8 tension, many measurements taken at low redshifts and from the CMB remain consistent with the standard cosmological model. This has led to the exciting possibility that the universe may have experienced a significant evolution in its development, challenging our current understanding of cosmic structure and evolution. In summary, the S8 tension represents a major challenge to our interpretation of cosmological structure and may necessitate updates to current theoretical frameworks. The latest data anomalies. In recent transmissions, Voyager 1 has reported unexpected readings that have left scientists puzzled. These anomalies include unusual fluctuations in cosmic ray levels and unexpected shifts in the spacecraft's magnetic field measurements. Some researchers have speculated whether these changes could indicate new, previously unknown cosmic phenomena, or even potential interactions with regions of space that have never been explored. One theory is that the spacecraft might be encountering a previously undetected type of cosmic particle or radiation field. Another possibility is that the anomalies could be due to technical issues with the spacecraft's instruments. However, given Voyager 1's robustness and the precision of its engineering, Technical malfunctions are considered less likely than the possibility of genuinely new discoveries. Technical malfunctions versus extraterrestrial signals. The excitement and speculation surrounding these anomalies have led to various hypotheses. Some fringe theories suggest that the data could be evidence of extraterrestrial interference or even communication attempts. While these theories are fascinating, they are not supported by the scientific community. The prevailing view is that the anomalies are more likely due to natural phenomena or technical issues. Nevertheless, the idea of extraterrestrial signals captures the imagination and highlights the enduring human curiosity about life beyond Earth.